Now the cylinder head, I've almost finished assembling it and the inlet side here that's finished and I've adjusted the valve clearances and the exhaust side the problem I have is I need to get new shims because the valve clearances are too wide for all the shims I have. I've got a decent selection of shims but none of them are thick enough. So for setting the or adjusting the valve clearances you measure the gap here between the base circle of the camshaft and the lifter. Now I've set the inlet cams to, or the inlet valves, to 0.15 millimetres. And that's about right for a cold setting. So as the engine heats up, the valve clearance will increase. Now on the shims, underneath it shows you the thickness of each shim. Now the shims are 25 millimeters diameter and that's quite common for quite a few different motorbikes. So if you need to buy shims, all you need to do is to go onto eBay, search for 25 millimeter valve shims, and then you'll see all the different sizes of thickness. So they range from about 2.5 millimeters to about 3, 3.5. So what I've got here is my measurements for my exhaust side and the gaps are huge. And I'm going to need to buy six new shims of around, well, of pretty much the thickest you can get, 3.4, 3.5 millimetres, and I've just got nothing as thick in my uh, selection pot there. Um, so yes, in terms of getting, knowing what size shim to buy, so you, you measure your gap, With your feeler gauge until it's a, a fairly snug sliding fit and you write that down then you remove the shim and make a note of the thickness of the shim and then combined with the shim thickness and the gap That will tell you your overall gap between the lifter and the base circle. And then you subtract what you want to get down to for your valve clearance. So like I said, inlet side, about 0.15 to 0.18 is a good gap. Exhaust side, a little bit wider, 0.18, 0.18 to point two two something like that so um don't whatever you do set the valve clearances to what it says in the workshop manual when it's cold on the bench here um you'll have a very happy engine rat rattly top end um, as it heats up that valve clearance will get even even higher um so yeah it's just a case of ordering these new shims and i expect they'll cost about uh, well, probably 30 or 40 pounds to buy all six um, but can't do anything about that just need to get the correct size